Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to show you how you can automate Google Cloud Vision OCR with UiPath. So I'll kick this off by creating a new process project, and I'll call it Google Cloud Vision OCR. And as that project is creating, I'm going to show you these memes. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of my favorite memes in here, and I want to do some OCR on them. I did a, another video and I showed you how that the built-in OCR with UiPath really doesn't do a very good job with these images, but Google Cloud Vision is awesome. And so I wanna show you how I can loop through all of these files that's in, that are in this memes directory and do Google Cloud Vision OCR on them. First step is opening the main window and then looking for the for each activity. The for each activity is just gonna allow me to loop through all of the files in this directory. So I'll say for each file, in the directory dot get files and the folder is C memes. <laughs> okay, that looks good. Sometimes I forget the quotes. So for each file in here, what I need to do is I need to first create an image object. And so I'll see if I can find the load image function, UI automation, load image. And what image do I want to load? Well, every time I find a file, I want to load it. So that's file.toString. That loads the image. Now that image gets held in a variable and the, the variable can be set by putting the variable name over here in the output. I haven't declared a variable, so I need to do that right now. And I'm gonna call that meme image and the type there is very important. There's a bunch of different image types, but this has to be from core, or from uipath.core.image. If it's a different type, you'll end up with a runtime error and you don't want to get that. And so that meme image variable is where the loaded image is going to be stored. And after I've loaded that image, well, the next thing to do is just do some uh, Google Cloud Vision OCR. So I'll type in Google Cloud, and you'll see that under OCR engines, Google Cloud Vision is one of them. I'm gonna move that over here. And there's a couple of options that need to be set. One is just a, you need a temporary variable to store the result of doing the Google Cloud Vision. So I'm just gonna create a temporary variable of type string called meme text. And when Google Cloud Vision runs, the text will be stored in that variable right there. And I may as well do a, a little bit of a right line underneath just to write that out. And so this right line command here will just print out the text that's been extracted from the Google Cloud Vision process on that meme. Now there's a couple of other things you need to set up here. So this Google Cloud Vision needs to know what image is going to be processed. We create that variable named meme image that was loaded up here. And so I need to specify that meme image that's been done. And then the other thing I need to specify is this API key. Now you get the API key by registering with Google Cloud Vision. And in order to use the API, you actually have to enable billing. Now you can put like a limit on your account and say, don't ever charge me more than $10 a month. And, and really you get, I think like, you know, a thousand free image processing. So, you know, you need to sign up and register a Google Cloud Vision account and enable billing, provide a credit card to get an API key. Um, but once you do, you just put your API key in quotes and paste it into that API key and then this will work. Now, if I put my API key in there and a thousand people do this video, then I could end up with a thousand dollar bill at the end of the month. So um, I'm going to pause the video. So I've now entered in my API key over here. I'm going to close that window so you can't see it anymore. I'm going to click Control S for save. And then I'm going to run this application. And now uploads those images to Google Cloud Vision, gets the response back. And you can look at the output over here. Notice that it's done a really good job at extracting the data from all of these memes. I can see over here, I don't always use Internet Explorer. When I do, I usually download a better browser. It's even got the you can see right in that lower left-hand corner, it's got the 
it's got the URL of the website that's generated that image. So cache me outside, how about that? Notice the pH there, it's actually trying to process the, the little watermark there where it says Dr. Phil. So it's, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, probably have to extract that out, but I mean, that's actually some pretty amazing OCR there. And yeah, it just goes through and it actually does a really good job at bringing all of this out. A much, much better job than the, the built-in OCR. And the built-in OCR with UiPath is really good for extracting structured data from PDF files and invoices and those types of resources. But if you need to go that extra mile, certainly using Google Cloud Vision is one of the ways to go. And there you go. That's how easy it is to automate Google Cloud Vision OCR with UiPath. If you enjoyed this tutorial, why don't you uh, head over to theserverside.com. We've got all sorts of great tutorials and articles on uh, enterprise software development over there. If you want to follow my personal antics, you can catch me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.